Okay, so we just need to jump seriously right on into this thing. I have a ton of things sitting below me right here. You'll probably notice my eyes keep cascading down because I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed. I have things from e.l.f., I have things from Pop Beauty, I have things from Pixie, and I also have things from Physicians Formula sitting in front of me. Maybe I should show you with the Jessica cam right here using my phone. I'm just gonna go ahead right now and video down here so you guys can see the insanity. There is several different things. Some is from PR, some is bought. I also might have a giveaway in this stuff for you guys below. So we're definitely gonna have to watch the video and then check it out at the end. It is something a little newer from e.l.f. that I think is cool because going into the new year, we are all looking to butter ourselves. I know many people wanna get back to the gym, get healthy, get fit. Hey, I'm right there with you. Normally I was always the one who was like, oh my gosh, all these new people at the gym. But you know, your girl has taken a bit of a break of consistently going to the gym. So I'm definitely one of those new ones back at the gym. Hey, we all have goals, so let's rock them. First off, let's start off with doing the eyes. And I have a primer. I did just set it down somewhere though. Oh, here it is. I have the Pop Beauty Eye Magnet Primer. This is what it looks like. And I have no clue about this. I've never tried it. They call this airbrushed. Uh, it is said to be water resistant. Eyeshadow primer works like a magnet by holding Holding your shadow in place. Here is the packaging up close. It is the Eye Magnet Primer by Pop Beauty. It's kind of a pink casing. It is a clickable type of applicator and so I'm just going to push it up. Here it comes. I am a little on the fence with applicators like this. I have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I think they're amazing, especially for lippy products. As for eyes, I don't know. I find that sometimes they can just be a little overwhelming and not work as well, but this is just a primer, so how wrong could we go? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mirror and we're going to put it on the eyeball. Let's squeeze up some more. And let's see how this goes. The applicator does feel really stiff though. That is something I'm noticing um, as I'm putting it on my eye. It feels really stiff and hard. And that's not something I like to do on my eyes. I like to be really, really gentle as far as my eyes go when putting anything on top of them. Once the product has gotten in it, it definitely does feel a little bit softer on the eyes, so that's a good thing. But the bristles feel rather stiff on the applicator itself. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ring finger and just kind of work everything in. We're gonna see how this looks. At first glance, I'm thoroughly enjoying the way that it is looking on the lid. Um, it feels a little thick though, but it's kind of spreading out nicely. Definitely covering up all of the, you know, veins and little things that you can see in the eye. I'm gonna look down and make sure that it kind of gets all blended in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite eye. And there is what it looks like. It kind of has an interesting smell to it. It's not like obnoxious, but I can definitely smell it. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. It does look nice on the eyes. So let's go ahead and see how it performs with some shadows. I do have two separate things here. I have the Pop Beauty Sunshine Pop Portfolio eyeshadow. These all are shimmers. I have swatched them and just the swatches felt rather chalky to me, but this palette does look really pretty and unique. It also comes with a little brush, but the brush is like a bye-bye for me. I honestly hate packages that have this like plastic container over it. I prefer that it would be like all black, maybe just kind of slightly sleek and maybe see through through the center a little bit. I don't know, but this type of plastic thing just makes me feel like it's really chintzy as well as being more of like a child's product as a matter of fact, if this doesn't work, it is going to go to my daughter. Then I have the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette in nude rose gold. So this has not been open. I haven't even seen this yet. I believe it was sent in a PR package back in November, maybe December. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, I've been so busy, so I really haven't had time to do a lot of going through all this stuff for you guys. I feel bad. Um, but here is what it looks like on the inside. Elf does such a good job with their palettes as far as also a, supplying a mirror inside of it for the price. These look really, really beautiful and I am impressed with these colors. I'm gonna swatch just a few to see 
Ooh, that's really, really soft. I have to say that I had the matte for matte other palette that they had, and I was not impressed with it. It was more of like your chocolate kind of browns. So this will be interesting to see how this works. I'm gonna first go in with kind of this color right here, and I'm gonna use it on the crease. I'm gonna be using my Japanese brush. This is an 835 brush, which is very similar to the MAC brush, and is actually a little bit better of a price, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly into the crease. So far that eyeshadow primer is really amazing because it's not even, you know, creating any lines in there and it's holding on to my deep set eyes, which is great. So I'm just kind of applying this on the crease, building it up. We're gonna see how this blends. I know a lot of people rave about e.l.f. eyeshadows and you know, the first palette I tried by them that was similar to this one, I just didn't really like love love. I could work with it. This is already feeling a lot better as far as the shade goes and how it is blending in. So that is definitely a plus. It feels a lot more creamy and smoother and it's just softer to blend, which blending and using a good shadow makes a big difference because I see people all the time who are like, well, how do you do that? Or, you know, I can't get my eyeshadows to work that way. And if the eyeshadow isn't smooth and it's not blending properly, that makes a big, big difference. And I don't wanna sit there and blend for hours on hours on end, just trying to get everything to get smooth out. That's not me. So there's that. This is a really gorgeous shade already. I am loving it. I've been so into like the kind of nudes, nude mauve range. And this is in, called the nude rose gold palette. So it's giving me all of those vibes. That is so pretty. I'm really, really liking it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color right here. And I'm going to apply that more on the outer portion of the crease. Again, using the same brush, just gonna apply it, tap it off a little bit, and then go right here. Just really try to get into that crease. It's blending like a dream. I'm so impressed with this. I wanna just use this whole palette, but I also want to use the Pop Beauty palette and see how it performs. I'm going to take just a little bit and kind of cascade it down onto the outer portion of the V. As you guys all know, this is like my signature look. I do it all the time. So there we have it with that little bit darker of a color in the crease and slightly out to the outer portion. It's gorgeous. Now to decide what color I'm going to use in this Pop Beauty palette because it is like a million a trillion colors. And of course I just naturally gravitate towards the neutrals, but I'm like, maybe I should try like the teal and just kind of give it a little pop. I don't know. This one I have, I wish I was like live so I could ask you guys. Let me just take a second and decide. All right, so I think I have officially decided on a color. I'm gonna drop out that little nugget of a eyeshadow brush in there. I'm gonna go in with this darker teal color. I just think it'll be really pretty on the lid with kind of the nude rose gold in the crease. So let's give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, so I put a little bit on my flat brush here and I'm just going to start applying it. Girl, what? Wow. That is payoff without any makeup mist that I normally use. Y'all, I'm shook, I'm shook. Okay, I am eating my words right now, officially. Wow. That is beautiful. I don't know, I have been into teals and greens lately, since the holiday actually. That. That's great. I am gonna add a little bit of makeup spray because I do wanna see the difference if it like just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. It's not as metallic-y as I would like it. So let's take the Pop Beauty Makeup Mist and spray it on here. I'm gonna go back into that darker teal color. Okay, that just took it up a notch. That is gorgeous. I was going to leave it darker on the outer portion of the eye, but I really just think I'm gonna take this right over top of it and kind of blend it in. I mean, is it the most metallic eyeshadow I've ever seen? No, but the payoff on it without any makeup misting spray was incredible. And then to add the makeup misting spray and it just kind of took it up a notch is so pretty. Uh, I, I just feel so wow. I'm like, holy smokes. I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter teal shade. It's kind of like a light baby blue. 
right here and I'm going to pop it in more towards the inner portion see what that does if it does anything at all just kind of take my brush I've got a nice amount on there let's go right here I mean wow okay I'm gonna use spray this time dip my brush in there and then go right back in we're just kind of carrying it to about midway I mean that is so gorgeous I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush here which still has some of the product on it I'm just gonna kind of lightly blend out those edges so there's no harsh edges so that is really pretty wow I am I'm kind of shook to be honest I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye real quick and come right back all right so I went ahead and finished up this eye I am like I'm kind of slightly obsessed with this look I think it is so pretty I'm loving the teal obviously you can see me I can't stop looking at my mirror vein right okay no anyway I have these two that I want to try out they are the stardust glitter eyeliners by elf I haven't even like swatched these nothing I have no clue but I'm going for the sea foam that really seems like it's going to be absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand and see what it looks like mm, I don't know if you guys can see it it's pretty faint there's really not much to it it's supposed to be a glitter eyeliner I don't know let's try the gold one this is the shimmering gold this won't be what I'm wearing today because it just won't go but I'm gonna try it on the back of my hand anyway and see so this one's pretty faint too if you guys can see it I mean they're just very very light they're not really giving me the pop that I was kind of hoping it would do I do also have a silver color here this one's called the sparkling silver so let's give that one a try as well the little brush just is not it's not picking up much it's kind of like loopy and gloppy uh, I was hoping these would be like amazing because they are so inexpensive I'm gonna try the pink opal as well and I'm gonna put this one over here so the pink opal to me shows up more than the sea foam one if you guys can see um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the lighting here you guys might potentially be able to see a little bit better so there they are right there you can see they are rather faint there's just not much to them um, but yeah I don't know um, I'm still gonna try the seafoam color over top of my lid because I think it might kind of add a little pop I'm not sure but let's give it a try and see so I'm just going to take this one here see if I can get some on there and just like apply it over top so I'm not using this as like per se an eyeliner. I'm kind of more dabbing it on my lid, kind of like I would the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy one. I do the same thing, but that definitely has much more of a pop than this one. It's just not, I mean, it's doing a little something. I can see it for sure. It's not like giving me that wow factor. I really wish just had a little bit more of an oomph. So this definitely did a little bit of something to the eye. It kind of just gave it a little bit more of a shift on top of there, which is very pretty in my opinion. I just wanted it to be maybe a little bit more blingy, but I do think that these are great to kind of like top over what you have if you want a little bit more of a subtle look, but they are hard to use. So I just wish they would change the applicator on these, maybe make it more of a dofa applicator. Even though I know it says it's an eyeliner, I still feel like for an eyeliner, you're just not gonna get much out of that product okay so now I do have two eyeliners that I want to give a try I have the elf expert liquid eyeliner that was a tongue twister for me in the color charcoal and I do also have the pop beauty ink outliner in inked so I'm going to try this one and I'm just gonna try it on the back of my hand because these type of applicators I'm not I'm not a huge huge fan of they generally kind of are harder to manipulate they just don't go on as clean and so I mean that looks really really chunky if you guys can see it see, it's just kind of chunky I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back of my hand oof that's that's rough and I can see all the way down through my skin through a lot of it I don't know if you guys can see on camera let's try this one it's the ink outliner by pop beauty in inked so this is a twist off oh no it's like a marker so this is like a marker Hmm. Ugh, 
like neither one is just making me jump at the idea. I don't, I don't want to use either one to be honest because my eye look, I'm actually really digging this eye look. It's rare that I try new stuff from the drugstore and I'm just in love with the eye look. All right, let's go ahead and just use this one. This is the e.l.f. one in the charcoal color. I'm going to try and make this as thin as possible and see if I can't just get a nice little wing. And I definitely have more like crepey lids as I'm getting older. So, you know, getting that precise look really matters with the liner that I use. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I made it work. We'll, we'll stop there because I do not want to mess this eye look up. Um, I'm gonna do this side now. So it's not bad. I'm not going to say run out and get this eyeliner at all and definitely no to this one because this just did not apply good on the back of my hand at all in my opinion. I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow palettes and kind of smoke out my lower lash line. I'm actually going to just use the rose gold, the nude rose gold by e.l.f. Now for a mascara, I have the Sweat Resistant Mascara and Brow Duo. This is the only like new mascara I have, so I'm not sure. Let's see. There is the brow gel side. That is super tiny. I'm really impressed with how little that is. I feel like that would get your hairs up really well. Let's use it for that because I don't have any brow gel on at the moment actually. Normally I soap my brows, but I just, I didn't do that yet. So I'm gonna go in with this and just kind of flick it up. Oh, hey. So it's definitely pulling my eyebrows hairs up nicely. Whether it stays or not, I have no clue. But this little brush, like I can just get into even the smallest hairs and really like pull it up. So that worked pretty well for the eyebrows. Let's go in with the mascara. It is a black clear, it says. That sounds interesting. So there's the wand, nothing too spectacular and it looks really short, but let's see what it looks like on does say it's sweat resistant. This wand is really nice though. Getting up really nicely into my lashes, but I feel like you would run through this so quickly if you were trying to use it every day, but you know, it is more for like the gym type setting. So if you are a girl like me who likes to wear a little bit of something on your face, obviously I'm probably not gonna go to the gym like this. I mean, is this mascara my favorite? No. Is it great for a quick touch up, you know, to wear to a gym? or after a workout? I think so. Let's move on to some blush. This is the NYX Contour Intuitive Kit. This one is in Plum Metals. I'm really drawn to like this kind of shade right now for blushes. It's like a peachy, mauve type color. I don't know, I just, I like it. And I did have tried this already and I actually really like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on. I, I honestly didn't care for the other ones that I received in my PR kit. They were okay. Like the colors were not my favorite. But this one, I don't know, just I love it. So that blush is a win. So let's move on to highlighter. I have several highlighters sitting right in front of me. The first three I have right here are the Highlighting Holographic Duo. I have swatches on my hand, they're a little chalky, so I don't think I'm gonna try these today because I'm actually really jazzed about this makeup look. But if you guys wanna see another video with me trying these, please let me know down in the comment section below. I do wanna try these Butter Highlighters by Physicians Formula. I have the color Champagne and the color Rose Gold. These are definitely the colors I am drawn to. These came out like at the beginning of fall, I believe, late summer. I have not tried them yet, so I'm going to pull them out. They literally have just been sitting in my stash that I have a crazy amount of makeup stash, and it's just, you know, never ever can get through everything, and I feel like we are definitely living in an excessive world of makeup. There is so much to choose from, and we're just, you know, constantly buying more, which don't get me wrong, I love makeup and I buy more as well. As a matter of fact, I bought these ones, but I just have not had a chance to try them. Here's what it looks like on the inside. This is the champagne color that is so beautiful. It does feel like kind of putty-like. I'm gonna just push it in so you guys can see. You guys can see right there um, that it pushes down. And I mean, that color, oh, that is so 
gorgeous. And then I have the rose gold color, which is right here. I'm not gonna like stick my finger in it drastically except for I'll swatch it for you guys. And there is that color. You can see the champagne's definitely more of a goldy kind of color. And then the rose gold is a little bit softer of a pink. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the rose gold only for the fact that I did rose gold kind of theme on my eyes and I want to stick with that. So I'm gonna use my finger for these because I don't know if a brush would work really well. I'm just gonna take my finger, kind of rub it in there. And we're gonna apply it right here. See how that looks. Okay, so that might be a little too pink. It's really, really, really pretty though. This is just a little too pink quite possibly for this look. So I'm gonna go back into this champagne color right here and I'm going to apply some on my finger and we're gonna kind of run over it just to kind of mix the two together. Oh, that's much better. I really appreciate how wet of a looking highlighter this is. I think it's so pretty and if you guys have not smelt the Physicians Formula Butterline, it smells so good. It is so pretty. I'm super impressed. I might have to go back and see if I can get any more colors because I don't know if this was limited or not, but yes, these are awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to lips. I have a new package that was sent to me in PR by Pixie. It does have some skincare on this side. It's their new rose line, and they also have their Pixie by Petra lipsticks here. They are a matte last liquid lip. Full color payoff in a single stroke. Hydrating, long wearing, and quick drying. You guys can see one is missing here and I will tell you that I'm already in love with them so much. That was the matte beige. It really is such a pretty color. I'm going to go in with pastel petal for this look because the rest of my look is so bold. And I'm going to show you guys what the applicator looks like right here on the back of my hand. So you guys can see, I'm just going to swatch it. You guys can see how good of a payoff that is. They are $14 each. They have a nice smell to them. Almost like an orange peel kind of smell. They're very soft. So I'm just going to apply it on. I love this doe foot applicator. And it just applies so easy. I don't even need a lip liner. And again, this color, I haven't even worn this color yet. It's called Pastel Petal. It is gorgeous and it feels so good on the lips. They do come off a little bit when you're like drinking coffee or if you're drinking any type of drink or eating, they're not like gonna stay on like super hardcore, but for $14, it's great. I'm so impressed. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this whole thing up from the whole look. Like, I have to say, this is probably one of my most favorite drugstore looks that I have ever created here on my channel. And that's saying a lot because I have created quite a few, but this one I just like. Ugh so in love with it. I'm in love with teals right now. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I really want to try the purple out of that palette too because I, I think that this Pop Beauty palette is like a hidden gem. When I first smelt it, swatched it, all of that, I, it felt talky. It felt powdery. I was like, oh, this is not going to go on well. And I took it on that flat brush and I applied it onto my lid and it was like, wow. It just, it really blew me away. This packaging does it no justice. It really is all shimmers. So I feel like if you have some good matte palettes at home and you're looking for some pretty shimmers that look pretty good. So far with the teal, I'm very happy. I do want to try and use the purple as well. And even this green up here, because I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm rather blown away. And that just goes to show you that swatches can mean absolutely nothing when trying a product. Um, and sometimes it can mean everything. So, you know, it's give or take, but this is a beautiful eye palette. And then we have the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold palette, which I think is so beautiful. I'm really excited to play with it more. The two colors I used for the transition shade as well as underneath my eye to kind of smoke it out were incredible. And since I forgot to say this first, we have the eye primer by Pop Beauty. It is called the Eye Magnet Primer. This is like, I feel like the verdict is kind of out on it. I like that it softened up once the product went in it. I like how it went on the eye. I don't know if it did any justice for my eye look or not. I'll have to give it a try again and let you guys know down in the description box if it was like a really good thing and worth it. 
So the jury is still out on that. I don't feel like one time can really make me go, yes, you have to get this. It made your eyeshadow last forever. I can definitely try it at school and wear it all day because I have long days or at work and then get back to you guys and let you know. But I do like the initial look of how it went on, how it felt, felt very velvety and pretty. And I do feel like it did help the eyeshadows blend. So that is a plus. Then we have the e.l.f. eyeliners that I actually decided to use over top of my eye look as more of like a glitter shadow. They are ho-hum to me. I think that if you're looking for something and you're on a budget and you need to get something that's going to give you a little bit of a pop and kind of transform your eye look, these will be great. I'm excited to try the silver as well as this like gold shimmer color just kind of popped over stuff. I feel like it's definitely a little more muted, not so crazy in your face like the Stila Magnificent Metals or even the ColourPop. Uh, supernova shadows so these are okay but the applicator absolutely sucks so just be prepared to know that you may want to take like your own little pencil brush and just stick it inside of there and really get the product out so you can get it on a lot quicker rather than having to go back in and out of the you know container as many times as I did but the seafoam green is what I put over this look and it is rather pretty I don't know if it's showing on camera or not but in my mirrors when I'm looking there I'm like wow I do see that definitely transformed it it gave it kind of a holographic shimmer iridescent feel and it's very pretty but a little more subdued than being blam and in your face so there is a that then we have the mascara by elf it is the active sweat resistant mascara and brow duo i love it for the brow part the mascara honestly as i've been sitting here i feel like my eyelashes keep sticking together and that is so horrible because i want to just like scream nothing worse than when your eyelashes kind of stick on the outer part it means like this mascara really isn't like kind of coming down and i feel like if you're working out and that was happening to you that would be obnoxious but if you want to just buy it for the eyebrow gel how small that little applicator was was amazing but ultimately like really you could probably find something similar to it that is gonna just be your eyebrow gel and you're going to love it so that is my take on that as for the eyeliners i'm not going to say much because i feel like i said enough I don't care for either one of them and that's that it's not something I would recommend to buy then we have the blush and I mean if you really want to just buy a palette just for the blush you can I wouldn't say that I would to be honest I think that I mean these colors are okay they're just not something that I love I'm not like wow for highlighters I think that the physicians formula butter highlighters are amazing and I love the texture of them. I don't know if it's something that my daughter has like instilled in me being that she's like nine and they're so into this like that's satisfying. So I'm like ooh this feels so cool and then the fact that it just looks so wet and dewy on the skin and natural and beautiful massive thumbs up. Last but not least we have the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip. I have on the color Pastel Petal. It is so beautiful. I've also worn the color matte beige and I love it as well. It feels amazing on the lips. It's so easy to apply. You do not need a lip liner for it. It does stay a little tacky. It will come off if you drink coffee or you're drinking through a straw or you're eating. So there's that, but it is $14. So you can't really hate it. All right, let's move on to the giveaway. I have a few items from e.l.f. that they actually have sent me now as well as I bought it when they first came out. This was back in December. It's their active line. And being that we are in the new year and I know so many of you are working on your fitness goals, I wanna encourage you to keep going. You've just surpassed this first month. So keep going towards those goals. Make small goals, set them to the big one. You can do it, I know you can. I did it, if you guys don't know. You know, check out my before and after. It is on Instagram. You can see I lost 110 pounds. That is an entire Nicole Richie from The Simple Life. Anyway, here is what I have. I have the e.l.f. Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. I also have the Sweat Resistant Mascara and Brow Dew, which I know I said wasn't a super amazing mascara, but the brow gel is worth it. So, hey, it's gonna be free. Then I have the Post Workout Cool Down Mist, which I love. This is great. I actually have a set in my own workout bag and I am loving it. And then the Workout Ready Hydration Stick, which is really cool to put on before like you go work out or even afterwards, so long as you're not wearing makeup and even if you're wearing a little bit of makeup it won't tug and pull it off which is super cool and then the post-workout cleansing body wipes these are a must I love them I keep them in my workout bag as well you know 
girls got to clean up a little bit you know if you're in a rush and you don't want to necessarily take a shower while you're at the gym but you're not going to be at home right away this is a lovely lovely thing so those are the few items that i'm going to put in this giveaway for you i know it's not a huge one but i want to get them to you guys because as always i'm so thankful for each and every one of you watching my videos giving me feedback letting me know what you love and you don't and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up Make sure that you click that description box to see how you can enter this giveaway, follow all the rules, and you will be entered. And if you want extra entries, they will be there for you as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.